Hey everybody, it's me Edward Jones, back with a new video. This is a, just a quick viewing of something I just built recently. I've been talking about it for a good long while, and I finally went ahead and built it. I decided to do it, build it around the time that uh, uh, Hurricane Irma was coming through. And fortunately, I didn't have to use it, but, you know, in case anything ever happens, as far as, you know, getting clean water is concerned, at least I have this, uh, I have this tool in my arsenal um, for providing for some clean water. This is... A water distiller now this is only part of it I don't have it I don't have it hooked up to really give a demonstration but I just want to show you um, show you how far I've gotten with this thing uh, I think it took me about let's see I sorry I think about uh, around let's see it's Friday it took me about roughly six days to build this um, it was a lot of trial and error I found some things that worked some things that didn't work and all together I came up with this uh, with this idea um, if you guys aren't familiar with how a distiller works, basically what you do is you're boiling, uh, you boil the liquid until you get, until the water comes up as steam. And what it does is the steam goes through a coil that later, con that then condenses into, wa into drinkable water. So basically, that's all this basically is. Um, I use a five gallon bucket as the frame and as a cooling tower uh, for the condensing coil. As you can see right here, I got the, this is where the steam will come in from. And I decided to use a pressure cooker. I'll show you guys real quick. This is an example of what I would use. This is an old Presto pressure cooker. Um, as you can see, the little spout, uh, um, spout the top is where the steam comes out. Normally, you would, if you're using this to cook with, you put a weight on top of it, and it'll, you'll determine, you know, how long you would have to keep the food cooking, um, or how long it have to be pressurized until you have to turn it off. But instead, what I'll do is I'll hook a line up to that. You hook it up to this line, this copper line, and what it'll do is it'll run through a copper coil all the way down to the bottom into where it comes out this uh, this outlet. I'm gonna show you the inside right now. I got to fill it with water because I'm doing a kind of a seal test. I've been having uh, some issue with finding a way to seal it up at the bottom without without water leaking out. But I found a way to uh, to do it. Took some ingenuity and some good drill bits. But this is it right here. The cool thing is this is the first time I ever uh, soldered copper. And I say I did a pretty good job. Uh, there's no, I haven't found any leaking. Um, this is filled with, with regular cold water. And it, what, it, what the cold water will do is it will keep the coil cool so that when steam goes through it, the steam will condense into water a lot faster. Um, you could do it air cool, but you know, it's not, it's, uh, it, doesn't, it, it takes a little bit longer for it to come out. Um, at the bottom right here as as just liquid water it'll co come out as a little bit of water but still be some steam if the copper isn't kept cold enough so that's the idea um, maybe I'll do it I hope to do a demonstration video for you guys someday but I just want to show you guys something I built um, like I said during the time of the hurricane um, you know we uh, we we did pretty okay um, we had a little power outage which I will um I'm trying to cover in a cover in a, a video um, a video before this one but um, but during you know while I was while I was going on, I figured I'd come up with an idea to, you know, have enough means of, of making potable water. So if you guys if so if any of you guys ever tried anything like this, I'd love to you know hear your thoughts. Um, see what you see what ideas you guys come up with. Uh, if you get more questions about this uh about this uh you know water distiller coil, just uh send, you know shoot me a PM or leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, please, if it's your first time checking out my channel, I encourage you to check out my older videos and stay tuned for new ones. Any gripes, complaints, send me a PM. I'll see what I can do to address them. But that's my video. Uh, this is a homemade water distiller. I'm Edward Jones, and thanks for watching.